Right, Alex? So we reach. So we have three monsters parked up here. But we into the old school project today. As you all saw this on the channel, one of the first videos, Starlet. Starlet's are looking good, 100, but we here for this today. So this KE Corolla, I even show, why, why, yeah it is. Man harassing me, right? <laughs> watch, watch, all this harassment and watch the car, Ole, watch the car. <laughs> Man, I even wash down the car. You feel I was, you feel I was shipping this now, you feel I coming. A small thing. So all you feel this car running, boy. Oh, all you really think this car running. Real old school business. At least well, you had the sparkle seats. So all you know why all about sparkle. Yeah. All right, all right. So, race interior business. Man, I gauges. All right, all right. So all you can see is a true old school project. Now the doors opening nice. So let's see that. Hear that closing. Car in good condition, man. It's just the dust so boy. Oh god boy. Why the man have wash down the car self, boy? So you feel like I come in now, you feel like I'm shipping this. Right? God boy, you had to clean out this car boy, we're good on not you. <laughs> right, right. This man all kind of crank and thing in the back of this thing. So what do you feel? What engine this running? Well, we come here to check that out today. Right? Exhaust barrel business. <laughs> see if we could see the pipe in there. Yeah, looking like... Well, two and a half, eh, sure, eh, sure. Oh, you again to all that just now? <laughs> Man, hiding the rims from we boy. Right, right. Let me check this thing out so the moment I shoot. Woo, bonnet a little heavy. Right, right. Well, all the car enthusiasts gonna know what engine this is. I mean, I I shocked to see it rear wheel drive. Right? I hope it's four wheel, right? Four wheel, rear wheel? I believe it's rear wheel. Rear wheel drive. Alright, alright. Turbo looks pretty huge. 35 R ish. So we have a turbocharged 20 valve engine in this Corolla. Nice setup. For throttle intake, as you all see. So we have old school projects hidden, hide away. So you condition it in. Let me see if it goes start. Right? Now your next step. Of first, let you get this man to clear out this car. And then we will look to start it up. And try to get out of here. Well, let's look at this. <laughs> what is this? Been looking for trouble up this side. Now where is this E85 about? Hmm. Wait. Anyhow, let me clean up this mess and do all you really come to do here. So, first thing first, hey, you get the battery going. Right? Need power. So you're organizing up some power here. To show all you that it wasn't pre-recorded. The car is totally cool right now. So we now finished clean up so we can come out. Right? As you can see we clean up the area a little bit. Then I just check oil quickly. Make sure we have oil before we start. So we have a little level there, eh? looking good. Right? I mean the oil wasn't changing a while as you all saw the colour. <laughs> so again an unexpected show up. Need coolant. Again, wow. <laughs> Right? Yeah. So, the car was parked up a while. You know, we bring in a, a serious old school project here. Right? Right? So, we see you. Good to go. So, moment of truth. I reorganize and start up. Right? So, I just jump in. 
Neutral brakes. That is, that is not old school. <laughs> right, so let's try our start. Time to hit the road. So you man say, can we go out the road looking so? So we had to wait on a quick wash down. She 
project is it feels really good and sounds pretty good right Some shot too. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Right. Don't know, subscriber. Eh? You don't know. So we here with Chevron, <laughs> the mastermind behind the car. Welcome to the channel, Chevron. Thanks, thanks. Finally, I get uh, to be on Optiatics. Yeah. So we have a 4AGE 20 valve engine here. This is our 1.6 engine, four throttle, as you all can see, obvious. And this man turbocharged it. So first and foremost, what turbo and manifold is this you're running here? So that is a T3, T4, 60 trim turbo. Uh, everything was basically done way back when. So it's literally a, a 2010, 2012 build. So you wouldn't see the latest GTX on it. All right. So I see we have a, our must have fuel regulator by Aeromotive. All right. Nothing new there. Uh, external wastegate we have there. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. Internal wastegate, blow up valve. Uh, tell us about the internals. So you took this high compression engine and just dump some boost on it like a madman. So the initial iteration, yes, we are uh, we are just bolt on a turbocharger on it to see what the stock 20 valve internals would have take high compression and it was around 18 pounds of boost before it died. However, right now this is a forged block. 
Um, it has some cams in it. And basically, other than that, it's a stock 20 valve oiling system. Uh, can you tell us what compression you can? Currently, we are assuming it's close to 6 to 1, which is kind of madness because we use 8 to 1 compression ratio pistons with about a 3 mil head gasket to, um, to drop it low. That was again back in the day to try to put as much air and fuel into it as we could. Alright, and uh, what gearbox is this running? Currently, it's on a T50 A86 box. Uh, tilt on twin this clutch, 4 pound quarter master flywheel. Alright, so what diff it is you're running in this car right now? It's a A86 TRD 1.5 LSD it have in it. Uh, clutch type, um, but the clutch is packed a bit tight, so it is behave as almost locked. Um, what fuel system on this car by the way? So it have a Walbro 255 pump on it. Um, it have four 40 cc injectors currently and yeah with the intercooler we wanted as much of a sleeper look as possible so you just think is another old wagon coming on the road just another KE <laughs> just another old KE and trust me it had plenty of unsuspecting victims <laughs> could imagine what what drives you to do this project and you know well back in 2005-2006 me and my dad we are, um, well, me and my dad share a strong bond, so we were looking at a movie in a shell D, and we saw the, the tofu wagon. And after that, I decided, yeah, boy, I, I want to get a fast car too. <laughs> but uh, we could not afford to just jump out and back, and then you can get a 86 to buy locally. So I do the next best thing, which is buy a K70 wagon, and me and my pops work on it from then. We had it naturally aspirated with extractors and stuff. And it, you know, it was good, but it wasn't really pack any punch that you would expect uh, uh, that the movie had. So the only way to get our power is to add a little boost. <laughs>